Well, much this is where this, this right big here. crowd does its thing. End zone, flag down, pass incomplete for Williams. But a flag in the secondary. And it's against Kansas City. Well, that was a perfectly thrown ball. Tyrell Williams, there's the grab. Prior to the pass, holding Boy, he number 20, 20, defense. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. You get Steven Nelson, but even with that, it's the right call. Nelson <laughs> Nelson doesn't like it, but boy, Williams, he had a, it, a perfectly thrown pass by Rivers, laid it in there beautifully. And just a miss on the catch. That's the fourth defensive hold on the Chiefs. And it's first and goal with the ball sitting at the three. Hand off to Jackson, and he is in for the touchdown. And this is back to a one possession game. With 349 left, and the Chargers with three timeouts. This is just Justin Jackson taking on Sorensen, and then he's got a win on it, and he's able to and, and punch it in. So. Uh, great job there by San Diego, or excuse me, the Char L.A. Chargers, giving themselves an opportunity here with under four minutes to play. And it's a seven-point game. Three minutes, 49 seconds left in this game in Kansas City, Missouri, and a peek inside our broadcast booth from outside. Where are you going? Hey, uh, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Chiefs about to get it back. Badgley will pop it up with Traymond Smith on the return. Block in the back. Flags all over the place. If you have a flag, throw it. Definitely a block in the back. You could see that easily. Here's the call. During the, re during the return. Legal block in the Legal back, number 35, 35, receiving team. It'll be a 10 yard penalty. First down, Kansas City. Ward right here, the former Dallas Cowboy who gives the shove. Saturday, it's a double header on NFL Network. First, the Texans take on the Jets. Then the Browns take on the Broncos. That starts Saturday at 4.30. Only on NFL Network. So with that penalty, it moves the ball back to the 11. And the Chargers looking for a quick defensive stop. And they've got three timeouts. Handoff is to Williams, and he is brought down in the backfield by Phylon. It's a pretty good start. By Phylon, they're trying to run the ball and force some timeouts and see if they can't get some yards along the way. But Phylon's able to just shoot the gap right there in the middle and make a nice play and a, a loss of yardage. A loss of three, so second and 13, and L.A. takes their first timeout. And the ball back at the eight. Well, Andy Reid, what a job he has done. He's in his 20th year as a head coach in the NFL, his sixth year with Kansas City. They've clinched the postseason spot already this year. They've scored 25 points in 19 straight games, which is an NFL record. But he's taken the Chiefs to the postseason now five of his six years. Traded away Alex Smith, who led the league in quarterback rating a year ago. They've won back-to-back -back AFC West titles, looking for their third pass underneath the hill. Third down coming up. After a gain of five, and now with under three and a half to go, 
Timeout is taken by the Chargers. They have one left. Well, we talked a little bit earlier about the fun that Andy Reid's been having this year with Patrick Mahomes and these skill players and the job that you just mentioned he's done here in Kansas City. But like I said, the, the pressure comes on here in January, and you look at this Chiefs organization. You know, they have an NFL record. They have lost six consecutive home games in the postseason here at Arrowhead Stadium. So we talk about home field advantage and how important that is, but home field playoff games here in Kansas City have not gone all that well. It's hard to believe they came in having won 24 their last 28 here during the regular season, but six straight home playoff losses. You have to go back to the 93 season. Joe Montana, Marcus Allen. And a loss eventually in the AFC Championship game to the Buffalo Bills that year. Now a penalty flag and a false start. I'll back it up. This third down is going to get a little false harder. Start, number 84, offense, five yard penalty. Still third down. Against tight end Demetrius Harris. There he is right here, number 84. And just a little bit of a flinch, and they got it. So we'll see you right here whether or not the Chargers are able to do their job defensively and get the ball back to Rivers. Third down and 13. Mahomes in trouble and sacked. Brought down on the play. And it's Rochelle and Ingram combining for a loss of two and the biggest sack of the night for the Chargers. Well, you see Ingram, he's going to come around. Here he is right here, and they get pressure on the inside. He comes off the edge and is able to collapse it. I'm surprised not calling a timeout, but they're going to keep one in their pocket. So the clock continues to run under three to go. Should get great field position. Time shouldn't be an issue. As Colquitt hits it from his end zone and it turns over. Good punt. And it's muffed. Recovered by Desmond King at the 40. It's been a while since the Chargers defeated the Chiefs. It was in December of 2013. The Chargers trailed by. 10 points in the fourth quarter, but ended up winning on a 36 yard Nick Novak field goal in overtime. Chase Daniels started that game for Alex Smith, who was resting for the playoffs. Well, what's interesting when you look at the Chargers and Phillip Rivers, Rivers began his career against the Chiefs going 12 and 4 in the first 16 games, now having lost the last nine. He's 12 and 13 overall as the starter. Play action from Phillip and the pass incomplete. Flag is down as Rivers was being chased by Chris Jones. And it looked like the conversation was going to end and now it continues. Yeah, they're having a, a lengthy conversation about this. Philip Rivers trying to get in the middle of it and influence this decision. Holding number 66, offense. Ten-yard penalty, still first down. They get Feeney. Well, this Chris Jones, they can't handle him. And there's the hold with a grab of the jersey. Not a whole lot, but good enough to draw the flag and there's a better look at it back to the 30 now first down and 20 well Chris Jones has been a he's overmatched anybody who has tried to block him one on one and not able to get the help from the center Pouncy on that last play and you know Phoenix had a tough night when he's had to try to do it alone. Rivers passes caught Travis Benjamin 
That takes it into Kansas City territory. They're going to mark the ball down at the 39, a 31-yard completion. Well, it's just a perfectly thrown ball by Phillip Rivers. You can see the safety here, how deep he plays, and so the middle of the field then opens up. And as a quarterback, you see that, and you just hope your receiver will give you an angle and get there, and Benjamin does. Pass is incomplete off the left hand of Tyrell Williams. And that will take us to the two minute warning. A minute 59, a timeout in the pocket for the Chargers. Trying to get into the end zone and tie it. What a tough catch by Benjamin. Welcome back to Thursday Night Football presented by Bud Light. A minute 59 to go. The ball at the Kansas City 39. Chargers have never led in this game. They've trailed by 14 three different times, down by seven. Rivers passes caught somehow by Justin Jackson. They keep the clock running as Jackson gets two. Oh, Daniel made the stop. Yeah, it would have worked better if he had not have caught it, you know, for such little yardage and then for the clock to continue to run. But what a catch it was. I tell you, they're doing all they can to try to secure the middle and, and keep Jones and company from being a factor. And Rivers feeling it. He just has to dump it. Philip Rivers making his 215th consecutive start, including the postseason. In his 15th year at 37 years old. Pass is caught. It'll bring up fourth down as Tyrell Williams made the grab. Brought down by Nelson. Now they're saying incomplete as the ball popped out when he went to the ground, and that will stop the clock. But take the yardage away, and right there the ball comes out. So now fourth and eight with a minute 11 left and any hope rides on this for L.A. Now we'll see what Bob Sutton defensive coordinator wants to do not a guy who, who brings much pressure he hasn't had too much tonight either because of this front four. And can they give Rivers time. Rivers throws pass is caught Benjamin. Sets up a first down and a conversion on fourth down and eight with now a minute left, a 26-yard completion. Watch this route. Kendall Fuller is in coverage, and Phillip Rivers just lays this ball perfectly. He knows he's got to get it out, and I don't even know how Benjamin even saw that ball was in the air halfway to him before Benjamin even got to the top of his route. It just lands right in his hands. They still have a timeout, the Chargers. This one to the end zone and broken up for Justin Jackson. And back there was Dorian O'Daniel. Uh, Justin Jackson had him, too. They've run that flat route. We've seen Rivers get it out. He knows he missed him. He had Jackson. You're going to see he runs here and he runs the wheel route. It's man to man here. And the flat, he looks. O'Daniel bites on it and just doesn't make the same throw. Here's the fourth and eight completion. That's that's a that's a thing of beauty right there by Philip Rivers. That's that's good coverage by Fuller. It's not going to get a whole lot better than that. That ball was just placed perfectly. Second down and goal. Rivers in trouble. Down he goes and he gets hit hard by O'Daniel. He gets up looking for a flag, doesn't get one. Justin Houston was there behind him helping to bring him down, and it looked like a hit mainly to that left shoulder pad. Well, that was close. You see Phillip Rivers. He's third and final timeout, Los Angeles. And Rivers is still pleading his case as the Chargers take their final timeout. With now 13 seconds left. Oh, now you can see the helmet to helmet hit. Yeah, you say, you know, you think shoulder, but it looked like helmet to me. Yep, that view showed it. And Mike Pereira, we can now understand why on that hit by O'Daniel, Rivers was so upset. And, and he's got a knee down on the ground, so as a player on the ground, he is defenseless, so he gets that protection to the head or neck area. Yep, I think he's got the legitimate gripe. 
stunned that there was no flag on that hit helmet to helmet by Dorian O'Daniel. Now 13 seconds left and no timeouts for the L.A. Chargers down by seven. Yeah well this is tough duty here for Rivers. He knows he can't take a sack can't keep the clock running on a completion and doesn't have Keenan Allen out with a hip. End zone passes caught but out of bounds and there was a push off by Mike Williams. We'll see who it's against. And they're going to call it against Kansas City. That's the early indication. It looked like Mike Williams got an arm extended as well. Pass interference number 23 defense in the end zone. It'll be first and goal at the one yard line. It's against Kendall Fuller and let's take a look. Uh, this changes everything. Let's take a look and see exactly. I don't know if that's what they're calling with him. There was no grab. It's in slow motion. I don't I don't see anything there. Mike Pereira what'd you see. Well it's exactly what they're told to look for the one handed extension to see if there's any pull down on the arm and that's what the back judge is calling. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot but if he can't get that arm up that is a call that so they want made. Sets up with eight seconds left first and goal at the one. And a time out. This is the second. This is the second charge timeout, Kansas City, called by the Kansas City coach. I just don't see a grab there, Mike. I, you know, I know in slow motion you can argue a lot of things. I just, I know what you're saying, but with him going up and and Fuller, yeah, he definitely obviously grazes the left arm, but that's a obviously a big penalty right now. First and goal, eight seconds to go. They they'll throw it here. And then see what happens. But once this clock runs down, they then will have an option of trying to run it in or, or throw it. But this first down play here, I believe, is going to be a pass. There's the matchup Kansas City in the number one seed spot in the AFC. The second best record in the conference belongs to the Chargers. Even with a loss here tonight, Kansas City still has the best record within the division. They beat the Chargers as well week one. Eight seconds, no timeouts. First and goal. Rivers passes. Caught for the touchdown by Williams. Skandrick comes out of that play looking for a flag for a push off and doesn't get it and Philip Rivers puts two fingers up as if they are going to go for the win and did he have control of the pass boy that's close yeah, it's real close I mean there's there's clearly some movement of the ball and they're going to look at it. Meanwhile while that's going on the offense stays out there and the L.A. Chargers at least at the moment are looking like they're going to go for the win instead of the tie. Well you see that it, it, there's a case for Orlando Sandrick when he's claiming that there was a push off by Williams there was clear extension of that right arm. Well, look at this. See whether or not he actually had control. Mike, what'd you see with regard to control before the foot of Williams was out of bounds? Seems like you could see the ball moving, but I'm looking at that left hand, that left hand that is on the ball and stays on the ball. Not so sure here that you can reverse that because I think he's got that left hand pinned on the ball there. I noticed that Walt Anderson started to walk away and they called him back to take a further look. There's Skandrick calling for the push off. I think Skandrick can certainly make a legitimate case for that from what from what we showed and 
if this touchdown stands, the, the Chargers, if they do elect to go for two points, which it looks like they, they will, they're five for seven on two-point plays this year. And if the touchdown's good, they're going to go for it. As they've scored two touchdowns in under four minutes to have this chance to win it if the touchdown stands. After you're doing the play, the ruling on the field stands. It's touchdown. I, I like this decision by Anthony Lynn. Well, you're down here and you say, hey, let's uh, let's roll the dice and see if we can't win it right here in regulation. And knowing keep, that Patrick Mahomes and what they're capable of doing. Yeah, I was going to say, keep Patrick Mahomes right where he is. Mike Vrabel did this earlier in the year against the Chargers and did not get a successful two point attempt. This for the win. Four seconds left in the game, but this is likely the final play that matters. End zone wide open. What a night for Mike Williams. And the Chargers have their first lead of the night. At 29-28. Just a total bust in coverage by the Kansas City Chiefs. You, you see Skandrick and Fuller talking. They're trying to pass this thing off. He's going to take him, but he doesn't pass it off when Williams goes to the corner. You're going to see they're playing inside out. And Fuller then takes the inside slant, and Skandrick stays with it as well. He doesn't come off of it, and that's why I, initially I thought there was a pick going on there, but they just they just broke assignment there between those two. We're not on the same page, and Williams wide open. What a night for Mike Williams. Two touchdown catches, a touchdown run, and now the two point conversion, which puts the Chargers on top for the first time all night with four seconds left. Just a remarkable comeback. It's pretty incredible. I mean, to, 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 uh, that comeback against the Chiefs is pretty incredible no matter where you're at. To do it in this environment, to do it without Keenan Allen. And Phillip Rivers to climb back into this thing is really impressive. And now it's going to take the miraculous as Traymond Smith throws. This game is over with zeros on the clock. And the L.A. Chargers have snapped that losing streak to the Chiefs. And they now match Kansas City at the top record-wise at 11-3. And a big road win for L.A. without Melvin Gordon, without Austin Eckler, and for the majority of the game without Keenan Allen. And so now, with these two teams tied, this was coming in at 11 and 2 and 10 and 3. Now both are 11 and 3. The Chargers at home against the Ravens at the Broncos. The Chiefs at Seattle at home against the Raiders. And maybe that number one seed in the AFC playoff picture is indeed up for grabs. What a road win. What a comeback. What a flurry at the end. The Buffalo Wild Wings postgame show coming up. Chargers win it by one. Thanks for watching Thursday Night Football presented by Bud Light.